dancers of Tenke Fungurumu are sitting on a maybe a young dolomite matrix, a crusty matrix, quite typical to this deposit. We have a thin layer of uh, chrysocola, which has uh, most likely got some heterogenite, uh, waxy botroids of heterogenite growing straight on top of it. Dusting that would be a, a tiny druzy quartz crystal. Now there's a there's an underlying greenishness which could be some bioildenite on this particular piece. Um, I've dealt with some of this material a few months back, and there was this uh, uh, current uh, uh, ones I have uh, uh, seem to have a little bit more bioildenite than the others had. So on the previous lot, the the sort of an apple green was 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 rather rare. We, I'm not sure if it's here, but it uh, could very well be. So if you see apple green, the, the blackness to brownness is uh, actually caused by the, the heterogenite sitting inside, uh, uh, on top of the chrysocola, under or within the, the quartz crystals. Also, often we have dusting of tiny green crystals, which I, which I estimate to be vesignerite. Right? They're not little sprays of needles as one would typically find in Malachite. Let me just see if I can zoom in to show you better. I think on the still pictures came out pretty well on this guy, if I can get the lighting right, because it tends to underexpose the camera a slight bit. All the way from the, the deposits of Tenke Fungurumu uh, in the Katanga Copper Crescent. Quite a magnificent specimen. Um, of course, little stalagmites and stalactites of the, the, the Chrysocola causing the the amazing forms on this guy, and the uh, little bling bling coating of druzy quartz.